Okay, I just wanted to get this out there that I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while now, but for whatever reason, I have just not been motivated to do it. But, hell, might as well not drag it out, though, while I got the chance. Anyway, hello everyone, I am Mr. Game Guy Color, followed up by some catchphrase, and for today I'll be discussing what I believe will be the legal stage layout for Smash Ultimate's tournament scene when it eventually comes out. Just for the record, I just want to label that this is all my opinion. I am not actually a part of the tournament rule sets or whatever, or whoever makes the official rule set organization or anything like that. I'm just discussing my opinion, just going from my humble stance of it. Of course, now I just want to label down a couple factors when it comes down to actually labeling a legal stage. This includes fireballs, spikes, enemies roaming around the stage attacking you, basically damaging stuff that causes damage and to the point where it makes it feel like you're fighting the stage. Other factors include size, if the stage is too big though, that will often encourage camping or players running away rather than actually fighting, which can <laughs> be very annoying to deal with though if you're the opponent, or very boring to watch as a spectator sport, to so smash at the end of the day though can be looked at as a spectator sport though in the tournament scene. So large stages like Hyrule Castle, even though it doesn't have any hazards, it's very large, which can lead to many players running away. Other factors include walk-offs, though, any, any stages that have their platform stretch out into the blast zone that, that are consistent, though, which can lead to many players either getting small combos that can lead into the blast zones for very early and cheesy kills that are, quite frankly, not fair, or lead to other players that are just stalling and hiding by the blast zones, just waiting for their opponents to approach just so they can get a an attack in or a back throw towards the blast zone. Now this can be countered, there are many ways to go at this, but generally speaking it's not fun to watch at a spectator sports angle. Lastly, I want to get into Cape of Lights. Cape of Lights is, again, going back to Hyrule Temple, is basically when there's a certain amount of terrain which you can keep continuously getting knocked towards and keep teching. Or this could also result to a player, to the opponent getting an unfair advantage where they can consistently keep hitting you against the wall and getting a huge combo. Thus, which could lead to a multiple problem, which, which could lead to a multiple amount of problems, but you see where I'm going with this. Alright, now that I got the boring stuff out of the way, let's get down to what stages I actually will think are legal or not. Okay, first starting off with Battlefield, this one's going to be a legal neutral stage, though. It always has been in the, in the past previous games, has no hazards, no problems whatsoever, and I doubt that that's going to change for Ultimate. Next stage we have is Big Battlefield. Now, in theory, some people may think this stage should be legal, but this goes back to Hyrule, to Hyrule Temple, as it is a very large stage, which can make it very hard to kill opponents, and as well as endorse circle camping, where players just keep running around on platforms and never actually face their opponent when they get an early lead. So, yeah. Sorry, but Big Battlefield is gone. Final Destination, of course, it's going to be legal. It's been legal in every other game before, and I doubt any reason why it won't be legal in this game. Definitely a really good aesthetic, I gotta give it credit for that. I probably should also bring up, though, that the stage hazard toggle that's been recently announced will definitely add towards whether or not these stages will be legal, which is the one reason why I really wanted to make this video, because it makes me very excited for that. And this brings us up to Peach's Castle. Now, I'm going to be judging all these stages with hazards off, since I assume for tournament rule sets, though, almost all these stages are going to be hazard off, since that's the preferred way, though. Less hazards means less things to worry about when choosing a legal stage. Now, Peach's Castle, I don't see being a legal stage, mainly because, A, we don't currently know what's 100% considered a hazard by the devs. We've seen various different situations of what might be considered a hazard or not, but we don't have a 100% concrete evidence of what, of what will be affected by hazards off or what will not be. So the only way we'll ever know is by playing. Now, Peach's Castle, the only thing in theory I can see being changed by this is the moving platform on the bottom, thanks to this brick thing that moves around, as well as the bumper on the top that players get knocked to a lot while getting removed. But aside from that, those are the only things I can see being changed about that. And the problem is that the side kind of l um, half cut out platforms that are displayed over here, I could definitely see those be staying out there. Those often get in the way of kills or saving opponents, though, or messing up your combos and stuff like that. So overall, because of the two platforms over here, as well as the stage's kind of awkward layout, I'm going to say this one is banned. Congo Jungle 64. This one is a huge maybe, because with hazards off, it disables the, the barrel cam on the bottom. However, the main factor definitely comes down to whether or not these two platforms over here, if they move or not. Because it has been reported that some platforms stay static and stationary during hazards off, 
while other stages, like town and city, still have moving platforms. So we don't know on what exactly what platforms will be stationary or not. So my theory is that if the platforms become stationary, this, this stage will be legal, since one unfortunate, very annoying tactic a lot of melee players used to do when the stage was legal was that they would constantly go to the top two platforms over here and then just circle camp as well as the moving platforms. Now, if these platforms were stationary, that will make that a lot harder to do, and thus I don't actually see many players getting a huge advantage from circle camping from jumping from one platform to the other with Jigglypuff or... Like, like, say if your opponent was a Ganon, you could just get an early lead, go to two platforms with Jigglypuff or Peach, and then just do that until, you know, the time ran out. So, for me, this is going to be a huge maybe. I could see this being a potential counterpick if the, if the platforms are both stationary, but if not, I'm going to say banned. Hyrule Castle 64, definitely a banned. It's a large stage, the little kind of... I'm not 100% sure what this is supposed to be over here. I guess a small roof opening over here. That definitely creates a lot of Cape of Life situations where you can keep teching. The big overall size, though, can make it hard to catch faster characters who just do not want to fight and constantly play defensive. It can be hard to get kills. There's some combos you can get over here. I'm going to say a solid ban on this one, even with Hazard Off. Is that in Spanish? Wow, that is that is supposed to say Super Happy Tree, but for whatever reason, that's appearing in a different language. Well, uh, anyway, uh, Yoshi's Island 64, or what is currently known as Super Happy Tree, this one is also a huge maybe. Now, with Hazards Off, I could potentially see the two clouds off to the right or the left over here being removed. Because the main reason why this stage was banned was because there was just characters who could constantly just keep jumping on the on back and forth between the clouds and just stall the match over again. So if Hazards Off takes out the clouds, I could definitely see the stage being legal. It's its layout is definitely kind of awkward thanks to the bottom to the bottom main stationary platform as well as the platforms above. You can't see it in the picture, but there's another platform on the top. But uh, I definitely see this one having some counterpick potential only if Hazards Off gets rid of the clouds that are on that are on the right and left of the stages. If Hazards Off just means the clouds are static and they don't disappear when you stand on them, then that's a problem though. But if the clouds are off, then we'll, then I would say the stage is a potential counter pick. But I can also see the banning it due to its awkward kind of layout and well. The TOs, though, might just be getting rid of stages because they feel that the stage list is too big. I know, I don't know why, but apparently having a too big of a stage list is actually a problem when it comes down to competitive Smash. I don't know why, but apparently it is. I think that's kind of silly, but whatever. I don't make the rules for these things. Dreamland 64. This stage will be legal. Um, I think the better question is, though, whether or not they will choose to have hazards on or off with this one. Because hazards off is most likely to disable Wispy blowing over here, so I'm... I could see some. I could definitely see them turning stages off, um, hazards off with this one. But at the same time, though, it just becomes another Triplast Battlefield clone by that point, though. So there's basically no reason not to play this without Battlefield without Battlefield layouts or Omega layouts. So I mean, I can definitely see some people opting to keep hazards on, but there's probably a lot of cases where Wispy King in the way. So. I'm not really too sure what's going to go on, but I imagine it's going to have the same placing as it usually does. Definitely a solid counter pick. If Hazards it off, it'll probably just end up getting lumped alongside Battlefield. Although, the, although admittedly, Dreamland 64 in Melee and Smash 4 had different Blast Zone la layouts, so maybe that might be a potential another reason to separate it from Battlefield. I don't know, but I could see it being clumped alongside Battlefield like it was in Smash 4. Saffron City! No, this stage is definitely not legal. Hazards Off will just disable the Polk will just disable the Pokemon coming out of the elevator, and it's also been confirmed that the platforms on the left do not move, but otherwise, it's not a legal stage. It's way too big. There's tons of walls that you can get combos off of, definitely clogged characters that can tech off of them to survive. Uh, the little pit over here between the two buildings, though, can cause some problems for early spike kills, and it also kind of screws over Ness and Lucas since they're uppies get cancelled out by the walls, so I'm definitely going to say banned on this one. Definitely a good castle stage. 
Mushroom Kingdom 64, also a band. It's pretty it's pretty big in its overall stage in its overall stage size. It has cave of life situations though, thanks to the blocks over here. It's got walk-offs, it's got it's got warp pipes that are gonna get out of the way. It has a lot of things though that I could just see being problematic. All I can see is stage hazards off doing is just turning disabling the warp pipes as well as piranha plants appearing out of them. But aside from that, the stage is banned. Also, I do not hear anyone else talk about it, but this stage looks really, really good. I, I do not know how the hell they managed to make a stage that's supposed to look 8 bic and on an NES even better, but they managed to do it. Also, this buzzy biddle on this trampoline is hilarious. I don't know why no one else talks about that either. Peach's Castle Melee. This stage is also, I feel, a ban. Now, I could see this one potentially being legal if it just wasn't for, again, the large central part of the, the large pillar central part of the stage if it wasn't there. Because Hazard's Off, it's going to get rid of a lot of random factors. Now, obviously, it's going to get rid of the bonsai build that affects matches. These platforms by the sides could potentially become static, so they're a lot more consistent. And they will also end up di um, disabling the, uh, shoot, the switches over here that cause the the um, blocks to appear. However, I also I do not see the stage being legal just mainly because it has an awkward layout design that can lead to some wall combos and people constantly attacking and surviving. So while I would like this stage to be legal, I definitely see they're going to be banned and I can definitely see why it is just, again, the central part of the stage gets in the way. But, oh well. Rainbow Cruise. This stage for a long time was actually legal in Melee, funny enough, though, and that was because it didn't have too many hazards that directly affect the match. But even then, it's an auto-scrolling stage, though, that's going to get in the way. Even with hazards off, I imagine that's just going to change how the behavior of how some platforms work, like donut blocks or some platforms that tilt. Even then, I don't really see the stage being legal because it's, again, you're basically having to constantly platform alongside finding your opponent in a consistently changing layout, which can get very annoying and to the point where it feels like you're also going against the stage as well as your opponent, which is why a lot of stages are banned. So I'm going to say a directed ban on this one. And if I wasn't clear on the other ones, they're banned as well. Congo Falls! Oh my goodness gracious, I really want this stage to be legal. It looks beautiful, I really want a stage that can play Donkey Kong music, just so we can listen to something else. But unfortunately, with Hazards Off, while well, disables the barrel cannon at the bottom, the logs that come from the sides, and the clap track that attack people, the one thing it's ruined for is that stupid rock by the side, which is lower by the blast, which is by a lower section of the stage. The stage has small blast zones, which can lead to early kills. And, of course, since it's very hard to approach people from below, there's going to be a lot of players getting an early lead and then going to the rock and just camping there. Oh, my God. I really wanted this stage to be legal. I did, but that stupid rock, it just ruins it all. And if it isn't clear, the hazard off still, it does not disable the rock at all. I know, it sucks, but yeah, unfortunately, the stage is not going to be legal. I want it to, but there's just too many problems that are going to come out of it. I should probably also mention an interesting fact, though, is that with hazards on, or in the original melee, if you were camping on that rock for too long, a clap track would come out of the river and attack you for doing so, actually punishing you for doing that. But hazards off turns off the clap track, so in a way, I think we kind of made the stage less legal by turning hazards off, funny enough. That's kind of hilarious, if anything. Next up is Jungle Japes. Oh boy, this is another stage I really want to be legal, but I don't see it happening. For two reasons. A, while Hazard's Off will most likely disable the clap trap that comes down and spikes you. Uh, these two platforms off on the side, though, ha are disconnected via pints, which could, all, which could again, lead to a lot of players getting an early lead with higher damage and then just going to the side and camping. And also another factor is the water below. Now, it's I think it's been confirmed that Hazards Off does not disable water. As in, when you go in water, you still swim in it. You don't fall through it, though, like you used to do in Melee. You still have to swim in it like before. So, I believe, even with Hazards Off, it's, it's still... If you touch the water, it's still going to drag you off to the side and throw you into the blast zone. Like in Brawl, Hand Smash for 3DS... 
But even if Hazard's Off was to disable the water, it still has the problem with the two platforms that are cut off by these pits over here. It's still going to probably allow players to camp, and as much as I want this stage to be legal, I'm going to have to say banned on this one. I really want a DK stage to be legal, mainly just so we can listen to some DK music while playing tournaments, but that may not be the case, unless another factor comes up, but I'll save that for the end of the video. Great Bay. Um, as fun as the stage is casually, I don't see this one being legal at all. So, while Hazard's Off will disable the turtle, I forgot what his name was, but it will disable the turtle. It will most likely disable the platform that tilts off the side, the little island that's by the side, it probably won't tilt anymore. And it will also dis disable Tingle from appearing. Outside of which, it still has water, so unless Hazard's Off disables the water, then there's that. It also has a very awkward layout for <laughs> consistently fighting. It's got this little platform up there which you can easily spike opponents if they miss their tech. Also, again, if you want to kill, they can just consistently tech here. It could potentially lead to a lot of issues, and as much fun as the stage is casually, it's just not built to be taken seriously when there's money on the line. So, Great Bay banned. Temple, I already brought this up a couple times in my examples, but this stage is banned despite not having any hazards. Hazards off is most likely not going to change anything, but again, the stage is just way too big. It's got the cave of life over here, so players are never going to die. It's going to encourage a lot of faster, smaller characters to constantly camp and run away when they get an early lead. Banned. Great casual stage, but not for turning. Brimstar. Uh, this one, I'm actually pretty optimistic. I actually see this one being legal. I've heard throughout the span of Melee in Brawl's lifetime, it has been legal at some extent. However, those are huge exceptions that mainly do the hazards. However, with hazards off, I think all the problems, all the potential problems that that the stage has provided in the past are gone. First of all, the breakable parts of the stage, like the gooey things and whatever the hell this is supposed to be, are no longer going to be destroyable. So, that gets rid of it. Also, it gets rid of the acid, which has constantly been a source of a lot of problems. It's got its pros and cons, though, but again, while you're in the heat of the battle, I doubt you want your, <laughs> you want the, your fate of winning against your opponents to be determined on a random acid. So, case in point, all the hazards are going to be turned off, and we're just left with this layout. And Brimstar, does, it doesn't have the best layout for fighting, but it doesn't have a terrible layout either. So, I definitely see the stage being legal due to just due to being, you know, having some okay platform layouts, okay blast zones. I can see this one being a potential counterpick with hazards off, since, again... We don't have to worry about hazards, and we can just focus on the actual static stage itself. While the stages by the side over here could potentially lead to some issues of, ed of easy edge guards, I don't see that being a potential problem. But oh well, I'm going to say with ha I'm going to I'm going to definitely I am going to solidly say that this stage is a definite counterpick. Yoshi's Island Melee. Eh, I even love how they put that in parentheses. Banned. It's definitely banned. With hazards off, it's going to disable the Mar the Mario World um, dot I blocks from flipping, but it's still banned. It's got an awkward layout. The platform, the uh, <laughs> the blocks are going to get in the way. The pipe over here can definitely cause some inconsistencies. It's got a walk over here with wall with this weird little slope that may or may not lead to kills depending on how good you're not. It's a banned stage because it was clearly not in the mind of a serious match. Yoshi Story, legal in Melee, and I don't see why the stage won't be legal here. Now, the question definitely remains whether or not they will turn Hazards Off on this one, because Hazards Off will likely disable Randall from constantly rotating below. If anyone who doesn't know, Randall is the smiley cloud that goes below the, pla goes below the platform and occasionally sticks out by the edges. However... It also has the Shy Guys, which come in and spawn fruit, well, if you have items on. So, I have no idea, because Hazard's Off is likely going to disable the Shy Guys that pop in. And yes, they are Shy Guys, not Fly Guys. The trophy description even calls them Shy Guys. And I'm still kind of concerned, though, whether or not it's going to disable Randall the Cloud from appearing. Because Randall is kind of a random factor, similarly to Smashville. Because, overall... 
if you turn this off, if you turn hazards off, and if it is the case, if there's just no shy guys or Randall, it is just basically a smaller battlefield, which could lead to a lot of staleness, though, since we have a lot of stages, which are essentially the same layout. So, I'm definitely curious. This is definitely a legal stage, but what I'm curious about is whether or not they're going to allow hazards on or hazards off. Or if they're even going to give you an option to have hazards on or hazards off. Maybe as a gentleman rule, if the, if the opponent is okay with it, but I don't know. Fountain of Dreams, definitely a legal stage, and it's going to be legal in doubles because Ice Climbers aren't going to ruin it, since I firmly predict that since the Switch is a more powerful console than, Game than the GameCube ever was, you can now play the stage with four Ice Climbers and not have it lag because of the stupid mirror effect down here. <sighs> but otherwise, I see the stage be legal, with or without hazards off. Whether or not they're going to decide with hazards off, is completely out of my control, but who knows? I don't even know if Hazard's Off will even affect the platform from rising, but who knows? Definitely legal. Green Greens. This one is definitely on the ropes. Now, we a lot of Smash players have definitely seen that infamous clip of Bayonetta <laughs> zero to deafing Ridley from the top. So, that leads to some inconsistencies. Hazards off, it will most likely disable the star and bomb blocks that will appear off to the sides, as well as the apples that spawn from Wispy, and of course, Wispy blowing. However, the stage still has the two side platforms that you can't see from the picture, but that are disconnected by pits, as well as a very tiny ceiling that can lead to a lot of early vertical KOs. So... This one is definitely going to have to require a lot of testing on whether or not it will be a problem, though, because the state, because the side platforms definitely will have players camping over it, but the distance isn't as far as, say, the um, the gaps between jungle japes is. So I'm definitely curious to see on whether or not they'll ban. I'm curious to see whether or not they'll ban that because of that factor, as well as if the small <laughs> the small ceiling will also be a problem. Especially with moves like Mewtwo's up throw or other great vertical kill throws like or other vertical kill moves like Mario's up smash. But who knows? This one's definitely going to require some testing. So I'm going to put this as a maybe. If so, then a potential counterpick.